Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a room using 3ds Max. I've shown you how to import this CAD in my previous tutorial. And I've also prepared a JPEG plan in my blog, but you can use your own plan. First, turn on Snap, right-click, and then choose Midpoint, and Point, and Perpendicular Snap. Then I'm going to create a line along this cat wall. Check the line from front view. Extrude minus 10 for the floor. Now we can give the floor texture. We can freeze the floor using freeze by hit. Using this, we can freeze anything that we click. Now back to create. We're going to create a wall using box. Actually, I can create the wall using the spline that we use for the floor or the fault wall from Max. But using box, I will have more control over each wall. If I make a mistake on a wall, it won't affect the other walls. Now create a box with the snap seal on. Put in 290 cm for the height. Repeat to the next box. Not from this point, but from this point. And this is the result. If you're creating the box from the plan, then the lowest point of the box will be parallel. And this part is created by using editable poly. The door part is created using boolean. And I'm going to create the window using pro boolean. Create a box 10 cm from the ground up to the same height as the doors. And then select the wall. Go to compound object. Select pro boolean and then select subtract. Then start picking the boxes. First, we're going to place the camera, set the view you wanted, and then Ctrl C. Now adjust the position of the camera. And then the target. If you want to have wider or smaller view, you can adjust it here. You can pan it. Right click if you're finished. First, map the walls with the texture so it will look better. Now we're going to copy the floor and use it as a ceiling. Go to display and then unfreeze by hit. And then right click. Pick only the floor. Copy it to the ceiling using Z axis. And then change the height to 290 cm. Change the material to ceiling material. Now we're going to import the furniture that we've created before. First, import the back panel that we've made in Tutorial 2. Go to File, Import, and then Merge. In the previous version of 3ds Max, Merge is separated from Import Command, but it's still basically the same. Then go to the folder where we save the file. If you have the light or camera existing in your previous file, you can exclude them by unchecking these. If your objects have the same name with the ones in the scene, you can pick Apply to all duplicates and then choose Auto Rename. Sometimes, 
the object you imported has different unit measurement with your existing file. You can adjust it using scale or customize your unit measurement before importing the file. And then import the door and windows using the same method. Now import the bed. We're going to create the other side of the headband. First, copy the headband here. And then ungroup it, edit it, and then group it again. Or you can open the group, edit it, and then close the group. You can also use link. First, import the bookshelf and then drag the books and door panels as the children to the bookshelf that will be the parent. As long as the parent is not moved, you can move the children anywhere you like. But if you move the bookshelf, then the whole part will be moved. But if you use link, you can't hide the whole link part like if we hide the group. You can save parts of your scene. For example, if you want to save only this bed to be part of your library, you can choose save as and then save selected. But if you, if you want to move this 3 ds Max file along with the whole texture into another computer, that have different library than yours, then go to save as, then archive, and then you have the file with the whole material zipped into one file. Thanks for watching, hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Good luck!